Is this seat taken? I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is... How many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? You're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some line drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us. You can't escape it. You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. Five thousand barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? We, I see it. These Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. That's my car there. I'll drive. Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I am sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things, eh? Have you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. Turned out she was married. This is serious! All right, keep your neckers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. Mayhart, look at this fucking Nazis everywhere, infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. The supply cache is down that alley. Let's go. Look at those spineless jackals. I can't stand it anymore. Whoa, steady, mate. Let's just get what we came for. Espécé dans froid du mer! Christ, here we go. Come again. What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go.
The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. The supply cache is a restricted area. Oh, why? Was that you being careful back in the alley? I lost my temper. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. I didn't leave a nice warm bar just to get my head blown off. If we are spotted near the crate, the Germans will attempt to sound the alarm. Then we'll have to get rid of that lookout first. Yes, you should be able to find hand and foot holds on the surface of that building. Climb up there and throw that Nazi piece of shit from the roof while I move in on the ground. Can you do that? It's a piece of piss. I do not know this phrase. It means yes. <laughs> Begging your pardon. them to sound the alarm. Now let's see what kind of party favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates. Those explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. Just to get the real show started. Ah, most men would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend, what were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? <laughs> well, the resistance could use a good mechanic. I didn't know there was a resistance in Paris. That's about to change. After tonight, the Nazis will have a new enemy to fear. The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. Time to leg it.
did it. Tonight we changed the course of history, my friend. <laughs> well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. You almost admit it. That fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city and some rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, why? If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. I owe you a drink. Sorry, Baltar. You know, the other girls, I like them, but I do not trust them. Ah, oh, bollocks! What's got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? Your whore is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right, I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up me arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. Come on, Sean, get in. Yeah, yeah. This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women! These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, eh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jews. But there's more riding on this race than you getting your hull knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheelman. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. Vittori's got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that a war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job.
There's the border up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me leader, Hosen. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. About fucking time. Not much farther now. I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the rest. <laughs> you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid. Especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's her own. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. What's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. Cousin Javier, where's the boss? The tour is waiting for you at the bar down the street. Leave the truck with us. I'll meet you at the bar. First round's on me. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic routes. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Senior Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. It's getting late. Why don't we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Basta! Get my crazy sister out of here before she gets herself killed! I am not going anywhere! Enough! I'm taking her upstairs! And stay the fuck down! I don't think you can run me. Salute that, you fucking knob jockey! The barman's talking to the police. I'll take care of Veronique. You boys, get out of here! Jules, 
time to get scarce. Right behind you! You bloody... Fuck me, Skyler. Mm, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on to your arses. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Mm, just got in, actually. I ah, see so you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Ugh, those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this just broader routine meant to be a turn on? I don't know. Is it working? Will you watch the fucking road, please? The radio ahead is set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. I teach you that in your posh English school. Oh, benefits of a higher education. Are all English girls as crazy as you are? Give us a bit of privacy, would you, Jules? Oh, I'd love. That was fun. Anyone fancy a nightcap? <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Uh, I'm going to bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules's little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for a living. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. Where's the Duchess of York? <sighs> Don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Come on, let's get to the track. for a fair day's pay. Lass mich doch in Ruhe, du verdammter Fremder, du! Hop in, Jers.
This is your moment, Sean. Remember what I taught you. I trained you to win. Watch your ass out there. These Nazi bastards are out for blood. Drivers to starting positions. <laughs> I'll see you at the victory party. Show these crop bastards how we do things in Belfast. The Aurora has taken second place. I can hardly believe my eyes. This illiterate Irish upstart threatens to besmirch the honor of the German people. Here they come. The patriotic heroes of the Luftwaffe. Top of the morning, for the shit glory man. of the fatherland. No, Sean. I forbid Did it. you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit. What's that? That is where the silver dart will be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. How oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Joker's car before the big shindig. 
You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. But leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in... It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making mistakes, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse-faced knob jockey. He's dangerous, Sean. Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. Don't get too close. We don't want to spook him. Head back a bit, but don't let him out of your sight. This isn't the first time I've run a tail, you know. Seeing motor works. That place is going to be crawling with crowds. This scheme of ours could get tricky. I've heard rumors about that place. Some people say they're making more than cars out there. The head of Doppelsieg has powerful friends in Berlin. Aye, Karl Eckhart. I saw him at the race with that banshee bodyguard of his. Franziska. She's one cold bitch. The motor works up ahead. Let's stash the car and take a closer look. Over there on the left. Don't want him to see us. Jules, fancy a little exercise. I didn't come all the way out here for the view. Pretty rude of us to drop in without an invitation. I'm French. I'm supposed to be rude. Come on, let's get over that wall. Looks like a good place to climb over. Oh, fuck! You all right? Yeah, get over here. How did you learn to climb like that? Creeping out of bedroom windows at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you dead, my sister. Nice place. They should have a great view of the lake from up here. There it is. What do you say we take it for a little test drive? Right over that cliff? You can do the honors. I prefer to watch. like I need to work on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? Dear Wanker, sorry about the bang-up. 
Send the bill to me arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. Stay with me. Stop! Stop this! For God's sake, stop hurting him! Sir! I'm here, Jules. For God's sake! Jules. Your friend cannot hear you at the moment. I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. I hope you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents with which to serve the Reich. My services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets once the skin has been removed. I had a long talk with your friend. He sang like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. And what is that? <laughs> Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that we are all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. We know that you are a British agent. We know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. Sure. Or you may refuse. How are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now. Go fuck yourself! Guards a prisoner. The interrogation will continue when I return. Before this is over, they're gonna wish it hard.
much better. Von vorne, Herr Eckert. Der Truppenaufmarsch ist fast beendet. Wir sollten in Querzeit den Pest verlaufen. <lacht> Die Deppen würden nicht wissen, was los ist, bis es zu spät ist. Ich brauche eine Zigarette. Ja, ich auch. Ich habe keine mehr. Dann hol welche. Jetzt. Can't be after me. Something's going down. Something big. Invasion's 
Fucking force. God help us all. Those bastards started a war. Pig. I didn't tell you to get out. that door. Wiedersehen, Fräulein. Thank God you're unharmed, child. Thanks, Sean. They would have burned me alive. These men were Gestapo. What are they doing here? Dierker sent them. Dierker? Oh my God. Where is my brother? Where is Schul? No! Get away from me! This is your fault! You took him to that place! Schul! We can't stay here. More Germans will come looking for these. Where will we go? West. It's our only chance. Right. To Paris, then. We'll get you home. Let's go. Veronique! Oh, my child! Merci Dieu! We heard on the radio. The fighting at the border, we were so worried. I see you brought guests. These are Jules' friends, Jean and Vittore. They need a place to stay for a while, someplace discreet. Well, but uh, where is Jules? Did he not come with you? Maman... Uh, something terrible has happened. <sighs> Madame Rousseau. No. No, this can't be happening. Your son. He was like a brother to me. No, 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 mon petit fils! No! Young man. I must know. My son, Didi, 
Was it quick? Aye. Quick and painless. Bastard to kill him won't be so lucky. I took this from the farm. He would want you to have it. Bonjour, chérie. Top of the morning, ladies. Over here. <laughs> Rods is way, Monsieur Deble. This show is about to begin. Hey, ladies. I'm home. Sean! I believe you owe me a drink. But of course, my friend. So, did you see that explosion? Magnifique. Have you ever seen anything burn like it? Just once, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> well, we are just getting started, my friend. You have a talent for destruction, Sean. I believe we may have found your true calling. Sean! Oh, please excuse me, Monsieur Godin. I did not know you were acquainted. We've just met. It is an honor to meet you, Monsieur. Please, call me Luke. Yes, I have read all your books. I don't think you're here to discuss literature. Have you heard about the explosion at the fuel depot? Aye, nasty bit of business. Somebody must have got careless with a cigarette. The Nazis are in a fury. They've been arresting suspected rebels. Sean, they took Vittore. Where? La Villette. The old slaughterhouse. The prisoners are going to be shot. We must do something. <sighs> there is no turning back now. In for a penny? In for a fucking pound.
Yeah, take these. With pleasure. Let's go then. Off we go. How did you get mixed up in this business? The Nazis took everything. Our liberty, our pride. I never appreciated what we had, till it was gone. British war planes. Bomb in Paris. Bombing German military installations inside the city. My people have been supplying them with target coordinates. I am afraid we have a problem. Oi, I suppose we've been drinking a wee bit lately. I've been meaning to cut back on the whiskey. No, I mean your friend does not have much time. La Villette is on the list of British targets. Christ almighty, we need to get Vittori out. That's the spot. Pull over. What's the plan? First, you're going to need a change of clothes. Come again? Kill that sentry quietly and take his uniform. Bloodstains will ruin the disguise, so use your hands. Once you're dressed, sleep inside the compound through that tunnel. You will need to move fast. The British bombers will be overhead any minute now. Where will you be? I will secure the transportation and meet you inside the compound. Now hurry! Go! It's not a great fit, but it'll have to do. Now we're in business. Als F. Braun. Shh. Sei leise. Niemand kann unter dich davor verpfeifen, dass du deine Amerikanerin bevorwachst. Ja, danke. Manchmal vergesse ich mich. In Kriegszeiten müssen wir wachsam sein. Wie auch einmal. Ich stimme die Haus um. Thank you. 
What's taking so long? Open this damn door! Sean, I knew you would come. They were ready to execute us. How did you get yourself into this mess? I will explain later. This fight is not over yet. <sighs> Sean, Luke, how bad is this? The bullet won't kill me, but those bombers will kill us all if we don't find cover right now. How much time do we have? There is no time. The attack has already begun. All right. Everyone head for the basement. Now! Move your arses! Downstairs, everybody! Where did you come from? I followed you here. I am grateful for that. When I saw the damage caused by the bombing, it was terrible. I thought everyone had been killed. What happened? I stood up when I should have ducked. Maybe you should stick to writing books? How bad is it? The wound is filthy. He will need antibiotics. I'll find a chemist. Antibiotic supplies are tightly controlled by the German military. Then I'll go knock up the crowds. There's a better way. You see that man standing over there? The one grinning like a cat with a cream-flavored arsehole? He's called Santos. I've seen him at the Bell. He's a black marketeer. He can get what we need. I'll go have a chat with him. You're the one called Santos. Who's asking? The one who'd stop these crowds from decorating that wall with your brains. Now you're gonna do me a favor. Claro que si. Sí. What can I do for you, my friend? Antibiotics. The heavy stuff. I see. I can get you what you want, but it won't come cheap. The black market is a barter system. You'll need something to trade for the medicine. Like what? Contraband. What else? I sold a rare bottle of champagne to a German officer this morning. Bring the bottle back to me. It's worth a small fortune. To the right people. Traitor like me, very own. Sounds like that tosser's throwing a party. Better grab the bottle before he uncorks it. Ah, so bitte. Deine Tarnung ist amselig. Bestell, bleeding all over!
I'll need to shake these crowds before I head back to Santos. Let's move! Oh, they're on the watch, that's for sure. El primero. Lucky for us that German Major didn't have a chance to open it, eh? You got the stuff? I have what you requested right here. They say Santos is like the poster service. Always reliable. Uh-huh. Cheers. Uh, oh, oh, momento, Irishman. You are out of a job, no? I might have worked for a man with your talents. Sorry. I'm on holiday. Then I might have something else that would interest you. When you have finished here, come find me. My place is right across the street from the bell. I brought the medicine. Oh, good. The wound has become infected. I will stay till he's back on his feet. You can't stay here. Come on, I'll take you back to the bell. No, you will not. Veronique, I'm just looking out for you, that's all. The way you looked after Jules. Huh. That will not be necessary.
bumpy roads. No weapons inside, handsome. You can leave them with me. Anything for you, beautiful. Merci. You can have them back when you leave. Sean, I hoped we had found shelter from this storm. It seems fate had other plans. How did you get picked up? I was recognized by an informant. Any idea on who the rat might be? I don't have a name, but I know he is planning to meet with a Nazi officer outside the bell. I'll follow this crowd. He'll lead us right to the snitch. Yes. That is one way. You have another idea? I saw the German put the informant's letter in his pocket. If you had that letter and the German officer's uniform, you could find this Judas before he collects his 30 pieces of silver. Where I come from, snitches get paid in lead. Got your work cut out for you, Father. It's honest work. It's pass the salope. General Climb, where are you going? Be gone, filthy French swine. You owe me ten francs. You should pay me, huh? The pleasure was all yours. <laughs> oh, bastard! Watercolors and oils. ammunition. Fair day's labor for a fair day's pay. Nice little village you got here. There you are, you rat bastard! Your payment. Merci. Now get out of here. What? No, no. There's no. your reward, Judas. Don't spend it all in one place.
What was it you wanted to talk to me about? I can see that you are a busy man, Irishman. I can provide you with the tools you need to conduct your personal business. Yeah? Like what? Anything you need. Guns, ammunition, explosives. I supply these items to men like yourself. Discreetly, and at a very reasonable price. <laughs> right. I don't suppose you take a personal check. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Then how do you expect me to pay for these wares of yours? Why, contraband, of course. German military supplies are best. There are Nazi installations all over the city. You will need heavy firepower to destroy them. Explosives, perhaps. My dealers offer you credit for any equipment you can salvage. German officers are another source of contraband. Of course, you'll have to kill them first. You can trade the contraband to my dealers for weapons and ammunition, even vehicles. I have people stationed all over the city 24 hours a day. Let me guess, I'll need to pay a fee to join this little club of yours. Well, yes, just a small donation to cover my expenses. Consider it an investment in your future. My friend Pierre here will provide you with a few things to get you started. Free of charge, of course.
<laughs> Muy bien, Irishman. I think this is the beginning of a very profitable friendship. You are now free to trade with any black market dealer in this city. What is it now, Santos? You need some caviar to go with that champagne? <laughs> I have caviar coming out of my ears. Nobody wants that shit anymore. What good are fish eggs when a man's ribs are showing like a half-starved dog? Booze, cigarettes, morphine. That's where the money is. Thank the saints you're here to profit from the misery of others. Yes, I agree. We can't all live like peasants. Just because there is a war on, no? Take my good friend, General Lutz, for example. He wouldn't be caught dead driving around Paris in some peasant's car. Last week I offered to sell him an Italian limousine. And do you know what he said? I don't know. Bugger off? <laughs> that's right. He said he had already bought a limo from one of my competitors. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Truly. But not as sad as the look on General Lutz's face when he finds out that his prized car has been stolen! <laughs> ah. Stolen by a dastardly Irishman, I'll wager. Exactly! And won't the General be delighted when you sell him his own car back at twice the original price? You have a devious mind, Irishman. It is almost as if you have done this before. Uh-huh. So what's in it for me? You are a man who likes cars, no? Well, you could say I'm in the used car business. You do this for me, and your money will be good at any of my special garages throughout the city. Okay, then. That's a deal. Let's see if I can get her back to Santos without ruining those good looks. you dog. Where do you think you're going?
I hear General Lutz is in the market for a new set of wheels. <laughs> you have done this before, haven't you, Irishman? Me? Stealing cars? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I see. Well, just in case you ever need a place to store a car, stop by one of my garages. My customer service professionals can provide you with all kinds of quality services. Oh, yeah. Like what? Body repairs, custom upgrades, vehicle storage, you name it. We will be happy to serve all of your automotive needs. For the right price, of course. Oh, that's grand. I'll see you around. It makes me laugh. Tell me, Sean, how did you like your first taste of revenge? I may give up whiskey. <laughs> Probably not. How would you like to meet some new drinking buddies? Who do you have in mind? The Germans are holding several POWs not far from here. Veteran soldiers of the Foreign Legion. Very dangerous man. Their leader is a man named Crochet. If we can win his loyalty, the others will follow. And you want me to bust these blokes out so you can put them on the payroll? Will that be a problem? I'm used to breaking out of jails. Breaking in will be a piece of piss. are heavily guarded. Perhaps a quiet approach would be best.
breakout. Move your arse! I'm not going anywhere without my men. Go get your arses in gear! Go tell Luke the job's done. Uh, this makes things seem not so bad. That was well done, my friend. The resistance grows stronger each day. Wherever there is a will to fight, our patriot soldiers will stand ready to strike back against the Nazis. Vive la France! That's all fine and dandy, but we'll need more than slogans when the bullets start flying. We have men ready to fight at your command. From now on, when you give the word, they will come. You did a fine job nursing Luke back to health. He owes you. No. The people of this city owe Luke a debt. You seem rather taken with him. He is an extraordinary man. People are whispering his name all over Paris. They are calling him the hero of La Villette. <laughs> Luke's the hero, is that it? I suppose I'm just his chauffeur. Jealous? Bollocks. I promised Luke I'd deliver a package for him. I thought you might like to be my chauffeur for the day. Oh. You want to ride with me? Be glad to. Boom. Meet me out front when you are ready to go.
So where is this package? I have to pick it up. So we'll need a car. Thanks for the ride. Luke thanks you too. Who is Luke anyway? He's supposed to be somebody famous? Before the war, Luke was one of the most popular authors in France. His family was as rich as royalty. It's funny. He doesn't strike me as the posh type. The Nazis declared his writing subversive. They confiscated his property and burned his books. Luke was left with nothing. Is that why he hates him? Luke is not driven by hate. He fights because he loves his country. will not take long. All set? Oui. Merci. Now, we just need to make the delivery. Why'd you wait so long to give us a shout? I mean, I'm glad you did. It's just... Well, it's been ages since we hung about like this. I have not been out much since... What happened to Jules? Oh, well... I can understand that. Oh, well, it does not seem to have slowed you down much. The girls at the bed tell me you love to drink them all under the bed. Uh, I think you mean under the table. Do I? Well... I'm so glad you sobered up in time to help me with my little errand today. I promise you will not regret it. There it is. Let me out here. You sure this is it? This place is crawling with crowds. This will only take a moment. Guten Tag, Fräulein. What is that you have there? Oh. It is just some cheese and wine for Colonel Straub. Straub is the lucky one, yeah? Go right in. You are too kind. Tell me you were planning to set off a fucking bomb. Are you out of your bloody mind? I knew you would try to stop me. You're damn right I put a stop to it. This isn't your fight. You are wrong. They made it my fight when they murdered my brother. I volunteered for this. Looks like you volunteered the both of us. Later. First, I'll have a word with Luke. What the hell's the matter with you? Now you're using girls to do your dirty work. I haven't used anyone. Those who serve our cause do so because they are patriots. I can't stand that word. I've heard it all my life from men with blood on their hands. This is not a cricket match. We don't wear uniforms, and we don't play by the rules. Every one of us must be ready to do whatever is necessary. I already lost her brother. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose Veronique as well. She can have no part in this. You once said that Jules was his own man. Well, I am my own woman. Do not presume to tell me what to do. Either of you. Count your enemies, Luke. If anything happens to her, you'll have made one too many.
I've seen you before, haven't I? The night we broke those legionnaires out of the German lockup? Yes, I was there. I was a captain in the Legion. Now the men call me Le Crochet. The hook, you can see why. The German jailer who took my hand fed it to his favorite dog. You're still alive. And free. Yes, thanks to you. But some of my men were not so lucky. This German, he has a lot to answer for. I know what you mean. The German is here in Paris. I'm told he has a taste for the sort of flesh one finds in the red light district. He tours the alleyways at night with his bodyguards, feeding his deviant appetites. The working girls are terrified of him. We can't abide that sort of perversion in our lovely city now, can we? I'll take care of it. I want him to know why he is dying. Make sure he hears my name before he breathes his last. Hoodlums and drunkards, just like home. Time to find the crowd that gave Crochet his hook. I think he'll make it another round. Auch wenn's verrückt klingt, ich vermisse Tunesien. Take this. Appreciate it, mate.
little bird told me you'd found your way to Paris. Imagine my delight when I learned I'd be nearby on business for a few days. I've booked a lovely flat, but the bed is terribly large and lonely. I do hope you'll pop by for a drink. Love, Skylar. Skylar Sinclair. I wondered if you made it out of Saarbrück and alive. I got out just before the shooting started, one step ahead of the Gestapo. We weren't all so lucky. I heard about Jules. I'm so very sorry, Sean. I know how close you were. It's a funny thing. Jerker had it in his head that Jules and I were working for the Brits. Oh? How odd. I reckon he had us mixed up with somebody else. Somebody who was at that race to spy. You always were too clever for a grease monkey. <sighs> too clever by heart. Slip me a Mickey. Why? Shh, shh, shh. Think of it as a job interview. It's time you considered a new line of work. Good evening, Mr. Devlin. Fuck you, limey bastard. You may call me Bishop. Miss Sinclair dosed you with a mild paralytic. The hangover should be no worse than what you're accustomed to. In that case, fuck you arseways. <laughs> ah, yes. The famous Celtic charm. Small wonder your homeland is such a popular tourist destination. I don't get back much. Perhaps that's because you are a wanted fugitive in your own country. I see you made quite a number of enemies back home. Quite a resume for a man your age. <laughs> well, what are you then? Scotland Yard? Not quite. Of course, we know about your father as well. Tell me, did you ever find out who started the fire? Who the fuck are you people? We are a dagger at the enemy's throat, and the time has come to start cutting. Last time I checked, your lot was losing this war. Is that what you want, Mr. Devlin? To see the whole world fall under the shadow of the Third Reich? I didn't think so. I'd see the Nazis burn in hell for what they'd done. But you still haven't told me why I'm sitting here. You're here because I require a favor from you, Mr. Devlin. In exchange, I will see to it that your criminal records are wiped clean. Not a chance. And deliver Kurt Dierke to you on a silver platter. What is it you want done? The Nazis have been digging at the Lachey Cemetery in Paris. They have unearthed something from one of the crypts. They put it in a box. I want that box here. Miss Sinclair will provide whatever assistance you may require. Huh. What's in the box? The contents of the box are none of your concern. Curiosity killed the cat, Mr. Devlin. The same may be said for indiscreet Irishmen. Ha uh ha. -huh. You got yourself a deal. I'll get your box. And when I get back, you'll tell me where I can find Dirker. 
You have my word. <laughs> well, we'll find out what it's worth. just feels sacrilegious. I got wet bones, monsieur. I think not! Out of the fucking car, thief!
I'm glad you decided to take Bishop up on his offer. I've been craving a little undercover work. We can play any game you like when this is over. But from now on, I'll be pouring me own drinks. There's an underground entrance that should let you slip past the main defenses. Look for a crypt beneath the mausoleum at the top of the hill. That's where you'll find what we're after. It's too heavy to be easily carried. We'll need a truck to get it out of the city. I'll find the box and deal with security. You sort our transportation. We'll meet at the mausoleum when it's time to move out. Good luck, and try not to get that gorgeous bum of yours shot off. Same to you, darling. Ich habe Heinrich gefragt. Heinrich konnte an die Mauer ein Lock den Dänchen piecen. Ja, vielleicht, aber er war am Schlachthaus, als es passiert. Er sagte, der Erbe war der Brandwurzig. von Hauptmann tot gehört? Wir haben ihn mit in einem. Der Auftrag nach Nepal gestimmt. Nepal? Was soll ein Gestapo-Mann in Nepal? Irgendwelches Antiquitaten. Irgendjoins da. Eine andere Antiquität. Die Führung hat doch Scheiße im Kopf. Die nächstens ist dieser Auftrag fast vorbei. Wir transportieren die Kiste auch nach. Gott sei Dank.
Das Kultegurt ist gesichert, Herr Oberst. Gut. Ich mach ihn kalt. Der arme Kerl. Bringt ihn zurück. Felt a bit naked there. Ah, this must be the mystery prize. Clever as I hope, you'll forget all about what you've seen here today and never speak of it again. Forget about what? I didn't see a damn thing. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Pity. I was just warming up to the place. Plenty of coffins to choose from. You might as well pick one out now. I expect you'll be needing it soon. In that case, I'll be sure to enjoy the time I've got left. something better than this fat arse lorry. What? You don't like the colour? We'll never outrun those patrol cars in this piece of shite. We won't have to. I've arranged to meet up with a few of your mates from the local pub. They've prepared a special reception for these sausage-eating bastards. Are you telling me we're driving into a fucking ambush? I just love surprises, don't you? Where? I've marked it right there on your map. And try not to be late. That's the last of them. More soldiers are on the way. We need to be gone before they arrive. Right. Let's get moving.
Almost there. Do try and keep us in one piece till then. Why, love? Whatever do you need? That wasn't so bad. Go on ahead. I'll meet you inside when you're ready to head out to Lahav. Top of the morning to you, or whatever time it is. Who do you think is the bear's best dancer? <laughs> Did you drink too much again? Too much? <laughs> Not nearly enough. Who's up for a single malt breakfast? Oh. How about a drive? I hear the country is lovely this time of year. Indeed. No doubt my friends are anxious to see their prize. Let's not disappoint them. Nazi checkpoints and patrols. That won't be easy. Not to worry. I know a back road out of the city. I've marked the route on your map. So, Skyler Sinclair, secret agent. Why don't you get into this business? A girl's entitled to her secrets. I suppose you were on the job that first night with that. On the pole, maybe, but not on the clock. What's it like? Lying for a living? A bit like high school, I suppose. So what are you gonna do after the war? You plan on doing this the rest of your life? Uh, it all depends on who wins, and whether I'm alive to see it. I'd rather not talk about it. Nothing like a good country drive to see the man's pains. Oh, I can think of a better remedy. And I'd say you've more than earned it this time. Hmm. That sounds intriguing. Later. First, we deal with Bishop. It's authentic. There can be no mistake. Those men actually found it. Marvelous. You are a man of extraordinary resources, Mr. Devlin. I could use a man like you. We had a deal. I brought your box halfway across France, and I had to kill a lot of men to do it. Now I want Dierker. And you shall have him. 
I am reliably informed that Colonel Dierker is less than a mile from here at this very moment. Dierker's here? In the Hav? At the Citadel, preparing to board a Zeppelin bound for Berlin. If you leave now, you should be able to catch them before they get airborne. Then I'll be gone. There is one last thing, Mr. Devlin. You didn't, by any chance, take a peek inside the box, did you? Well, like you said, it's none of my concern. I'm glad to hear it. Goodbye, Mr. Devlin, and... and good hunting. Sean, wait. An operative named Pino has secured a German supply truck down at the docks. Without it, you'll be hard-pressed to make it past the front gate. Since when are you in my corner where Jerker's concerned? I'm not. This vendetta of yours is insane. But I've just finished breaking you in, and I'm not ready to lose you just yet. Oh, I'm getting all misty-eyed. <laughs> Don't be an ass. I left you a present inside the truck. I think you'll like it. Devlin, they're expecting the truck at the Citadel. Play it right and they'll let you straight in. I thought you might like a change of clothes. Not very stylish, I'm afraid, but then fashion never was your strong suit. Ciao, Skylar.
Praise the Lord. There's
Don't worry about nothing. Ah, uh, you get used to it. I reckon I ought to check in with Skylar. You're alive? Nothing's getting past you, mate. Where's Skylar? I cannot tell you that. Can't or won't? Miss Sinclair's prison whereabouts are classified. So? Did you kill the bastard? No. Not yet. It takes a hard heart and a steady hand to face a man like Derker. I should have sent a real soldier. Too bad you were too busy wanking off in church. Tell Bishop this isn't over. Derker will be taking a dirt nap this time next week. I think it's time I got back to Paris. Veronique is probably worried sick about me. Board of the old vehicle.
John! Where have you been? At the beach. Is that seaweed on your collar? I got a bit homesick. Started swimming back to Ireland. Till I remembered something I had to tell you. What was that? You're a bold lass, Veronique. Bollocks like brass boulders you have. And you're old enough to know your mind. I won't say otherwise. Is that your idea of an apology? If it'll do. Well, well, pleasure indeed, my petite. I have been saving this bottle for very special occasion. Sean, I did not know you were back. Aye. Just in time for happy hour. Or did you have another rare pleasure in mind? I'm afraid we are short on glasses. I'll go dig one up. Enjoying the spoils of war, are we? Struggle must be going well. The resistance grows stronger every day. Last night we were contacted by another cell on the west side of the city. They want to join us. You trust these people? Not yet. But we cannot pass up the chance to forge an alliance. Actually, I was hoping you would look into it for me. I can see you're busy here. To reach the Western District, one must pass through security checkpoints. My face is well known to the Nazis. Veronique offered to go in my place. <laughs> I'm sure she did. But I'll go just the same. I'll need transit papers. Santos can get forged travel documents. I'm sure you can work something out. Tell Veronique I'll take a rain check on that drink. When I heard you were back, I prayed that this vendetta of yours was finished. Your eyes tell me it is not. Dierker's still breathing. So what? Would you trade your own life for his? Aye. Gladly. Then you are a fool. Only grave diggers profit from such madness. Jules is owed a debt. I'd see it paid in full. This isn't about Jules! Have you forgotten why you had to flee Ireland in the night? Have you forgotten what happened to your father? You, of all people, know the price of revenge. How much it costs the people we love. I took you into my home. Made a better life for you. You have no right to throw it away. I can't turn away now. I've made my choice. I'm sorry, Vittori. You'll have to live with that. Voice front, yeah. Dios mío, it's Lazarus. 
back from the dead. My friends in Laura told me about your little balloon adventure. You must be part bird or part fish to be standing here talking to me now. What about me Irish luck? No one's that lucky. My friends tell me you can get forged travel papers. Ah. I see, the hero of Ilet still has you running his errands, eh? Why not pick up his laundry while you're at it? Oh, that's fucking funny. You're gonna be picking up your own teeth in about ten seconds. Tranquilo. Luke mentioned that you might be stopping by. Your papers have been prepared. Quality workmanship. Not cheap. Put it on Luke's tab. <laughs> you Irish have a brilliant sense of humor. I'm running a business here. You want to talk to me? Talk business. Oh, for fuck's sake, Santos. Just tell me what you want. Ah. That is more like it. You see, I cannot tolerate competition. Why would the crowd soldiers buy cigarettes and booze from me when they could get them cheaper from the army? Maybe you should try dressing up in a clown suit, hand out free balloons with every pack of smokes. Maybe I should hire a badass Irishman. Oh, it's always something. Uh... Where were we? Maybe I should hire a badass Irishman to blow up the German supply trucks. That'll work too. A German supply convoy stopped to make repairs not far from here. The trucks are, as you say, sitting ducks. I'll handle it. And you'll have those papers ready when the job's done. Claro que si. I'll see you soon. There's a lot of spare fuel lying about. With a disguise and some explosives, I could light the whole place up. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Mensch now!
Sorry about I this, really. Robbed. I hope this note finds you well, my son. I must speak to you of matters of grave importance. Please meet me at the address indicated below. Father Dennis. Your competition has been royally banjaxed. Those supply trucks shan't trouble you again. All is fair in business as well as war, no? To be honest, sometimes I cannot tell the difference. I'll have those papers now. Ah, yes, uh, the papers. I'm afraid we have a very tiny problem there. It's a trivial matter. Uh, a small additional payment should cover it. What's this bollocks? We had a deal. Yes, of course. However, the price of forged papers has gone up. I blame it on the bad economy. Too many rules, too many soldiers with guns. How do they expect an honest man to make a living in this city? I'm just about at the end of my rope, Santos. Tell me how much it'll cost to get those papers. If I don't like the number, they're gonna be fishing you out of the river with a fucking boat hook. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Just bring me the money. Then go get yourself laid, Irishman. It's not healthy walking around with all that pent-up aggression. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Here are your new travel papers. Just show them to the guards at the Nazi checkpoint. These had better be the real McCoy. Why would I want to get you killed, Irishman? You are my best customer!
by dealing weapons. I'm here to deliver a message from Luke. Save your breath. I don't know you from Adam, and I won't discuss business with strangers. For all I know, you could be talking to the Gestapo. No, but I'm sure they'd love to have a chat with me. If you want to deal with us, you'll first have to prove you can be trusted. All right, then. What'll it take to convince your people that Luke and I are on the level? Excuse me, young man. Is that how you address a lady? I don't believe I caught your name. I... Uh, Sean Devlin. Begging your pardon, ma'am. And I am the Lady Margot Bonaire. I've heard of you, Irishman. Tell me, are these stories true? I suppose that depends on who's talking. The Germans are talking, Monsieur Devlin. The local authorities have taken a great interest in your activities. How would you know that? One of my people placed wiretaps on the phones at the local Gestapo headquarters. Must be a clever chap. Indeed. Joseph Breuermann is one of our most valuable agents. Last night he was arrested. I fear he will not hold out long under questioning. He is not a brave man. What if I were to make other arrangements for this man, Bryman? Would that settle your doubts as to me and my friends? Yes, but it won't be easy. Bryman is being held under close watch. You may need to create a distraction, a explosives, perhaps. Aye, or a disguise. Yes. In the right uniform, you could walk yourself right out of the detention. But if the guards suspect an escape, they will kill you both. Don't you worry, ma'am. I'll bring your boy home in one piece. of the old vehicle. Spergewitz, gehen Sie woanders lang! There's our man now. Hey, 
Margo sent me. Stay close and keep your head down. like you do and working against his own side. They are not my side. Under Nazis, the blood running through my veins is a death sentence. How did you get into this game? I was studied as a radio engineer at Heidelberg. My family fled when the Nazis seized power. I ended up here. And so you joined the French resistance? It seems the only sensible thing to do. Sensible? <laughs> That's rich. We are men without countries, you and I. But... Not men without souls, yeah, Irishman? If you say so. Be a new car, yes. Friends, Reynard and his men, they disappeared two days ago. This morning we found them here. What happened? They were preparing for a mission. Reynard was caught with a pocket full of detonators. He was a hard man, but he broke under torture and gave the others up. That clown butcher skinned him like an animal. What did you say? The Nazis knew chief of public security, an SS colonel. Before the war, he was some kind of race car driver. Jerker. Yes, that's him. This is his message to the Resistance. What was Renard's target? The siege gun at the Lycée Theater. It's a symbol of Nazi power in this part of the city. The sound it makes is deafening. Every time it fires, the people of Paris lose hope. Then we'll give him something to cheer about. I thought you might feel that way. Speak to Bryman.
Devlin. It's so good to see you, my friend. Likewise. What's the score? The Nazis have located one of our safe houses in the countryside. A place where we hide the women and children from the Gestapo. They are dialing the house's coordinates into the siege gun. Can you warn them? Nine. There isn't time. Then we'll have to do the job quick. Take these. You're going to need a powerful explosive charge to destroy the gun. Achtung! Achtung! Einsatzbereitschaftsprotokoll ist aktiviert. Zehn Minuten bis zum Abschuss. Beginn Flugbahnjustierung. Nine minutes bis zum Abschuss. I need to slot that technician before he pulls the trigger. this. myself a little time.
Where's Skylar? Miss Sinclair is away on business. She sends her warmest regards. Right then. I don't like you, and I trust you even less. I'm only here because of what you said about Jules. If this is one of your tricks, we're about to find out just how blue that blood of yours is. I must confess I find your candor most refreshing, Mr. Devlin. In my line of work, honesty is the rarest of vices. Secrets are the currency of my profession. Your friend Jules was killed to protect a rather important secret. Did you know that? Dierker thought we were working for you. Perhaps, but Jules had to die in any case. He had seen too much, as did you. The Doppelseek factory. What's really going on up there? Are you familiar with the concept of atomic fission? Uh, I've never been one for poofy cocktails. I'm sure the barman will be relieved. But it's beside the point. Your friend Jules was killed to protect the secrecy of certain enemy plans. Plans which are critical to the German war effort. I intend to shatter those plans and destroy the men behind them. How about it, Mr. Devlin? Up for another game? Aye. What'll it be this time? Miss Sinclair will return shortly to brief you on the next phase of the operation. If you can pull this one off, they'll give you the Victoria Cross. Ooh. Is that some sort of matter? The VC is my government's highest honor. Then I'll know what to wipe me arse with. Let's call it a case of scotch. Now you're talking. Cheers. Nice wheels, by the way. Should have booked a hotel room. <sighs> Naughty boy. I don't typically mix business and pleasure, but sometimes I can't help myself. For a moment there, I thought you were dead. Not quite. But the bastards get an A for effort. If this isn't a social call, what are we talking about? You're going to help us take a man from a train, then drive the train over a cliff. Sounds like fun. Ever blown up a bridge? Not yet, but I'm a fast learner. Who's the punter? Dr. Klaus Kessler. Chief Engineer for the Nazi Secret Atomic Weapons Program, codenamed Volhor. The secret that got Jules killed. You were practically on top of Kessler's lab when you were captured. Bloody bad luck. Poor Jules. Bad luck for the fucking crowds. So what exactly is this? Kidnapping? Defection. Oh, Christ. Is this kidnapping? Defection. Dr. Kessler wants to switch sides. The Nazis will kill him before they let that happen. So you want the crowds to think he's already dead? Spot on. When we destroy the train, the Nazis will assume Kessler has been assassinated. By the time they realize what really happened, Kessler will be in London, working for our side. 
downright devious. That's Bishop style. Our first order of business is to wire the bridge with demolition charges. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Don't tell me you don't like to get dirty. You know better than that. Set the charges under the bridge where the structure looks weak. And to trigger them? The last charge goes on the tracks. It'll set off the rest when the train hits it. Bleeding diabolical. I'll be right back. Some of these struts have seen better days. It's how we do it back home. How about... here? This looks like a good spot. about here. One more on the tracks now. And that's that. Wilcox is waiting for us at the train station. Let's get moving. If Kester is the crowd's golden goose, why risk sending him to France? He's here to convert the Paris Cyclotron for military use. They couldn't send somebody else? They did. The first engineer they sent died suddenly in his sleep. How'd you hear? I was lying next to him at the time. I thought you didn't mix business with pleasure. His pleasure. My business. So Bishop's got you turning tricks for him now. We're prepared to use any means necessary to stop the Nazis from acquiring an atomic bomb. I see. They handing out medals for that? Don't be an ass. Wilcox is just over there.
Make your report. A train will be arriving shortly. The target's in a private car near the locomotive. And the radio transmitter? In the caboose. You'll need to sever communications once you're aboard. Shite. This is getting complicated. I'll be waiting to pick you up near the bridge. Whatever happens, make sure that train reaches the river. Sean, if anything goes wrong, if you can't get Kessler out, kill him. You tell Bishop to go and shite. I'll get your boy out, but I'll not be your damn trigger man. Now if you'll excuse me, I've a train to catch. Done it. Now to find the doctor. Kessler, you in there? Hold tight. I'm coming back for you. Now for Kessler. There's no stopping us now. You Kessler. Bishop sent you. Are you working alone? Aye. I'm sorry to hear that. Dr. Kessler. Yeah? Got your passport? Yeah. Put it in his pocket.
time to go. No, no, no please, don't! Ah! Want something? Nicely done. Dr. Kessler, I presume? An honor to meet you. You've made a courageous decision. One day even your own country will thank you. I'm not doing this for my country. Or are yours? The crowds will be swarming all over this place. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Sean, I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. What happened? Our flight home has been cancelled. We'll need to stash Kessler somewhere in the city. At least until we figure out a way to get him out of the country. I know a place. I'll drive. before the crowds realize our boy wasn't on that train. We estimate it will take the better part of a week to sift through the wreckage and identify the bodies. We'll be gone by then. I'm afraid that is impossible. I'm not going anywhere without Maria. Excuse me? My daughter, General Eckhart, is holding her somewhere in Paris. He said he would let her go free once I had finished building his instruments of death. When he learns what has happened, he'll kill her. I'm sorry, Dr. Kessler. Your daughter was not part of the deal. I'll look into it once you're safely out of the country. This is right. Christ. What now? we leave off? This is not a negotiation. Without Maria, the deal is off. I will slit my own wrists before I build bombs for your government. Jesus, keep your knickers on, Doc. If your girl is here, we'll find her. So where is it that we're headed? I'll give you a hint. How do you like your steak? <laughs> Bloody, of course. Are you asking me to dinner? You always did have awful timing. Maybe later. But first we'll knock up a friend of mine. He can help us with Dr. Kessler. And your friend is a chef? I gather he fancies himself quite a renaissance man. I can't speak for his cooking, but he does live in a slaughterhouse. You keep peculiar company, Devlin. Perhaps it's time you found a better class of friends. <laughs> Oh, I tried, believe me. But the classy folks will have nothing to do with me. You're no better than you bring strangers here. Friends. They need a place to lay low for a few days. This is not an hotel. Nor a brothel. Oh, feeling a touch homesick, are we, darling? Ah, an English aristocrat. Does your father know you are here, girl? I expect he's too busy buggering the chambermaids. We Sinclairs are always up for a bit of rough. I'll vouch for her. And where are you? I'd mind me manners. She's got friends. Not the sort you want to cross. What does that mean? Do I have to fucking spell it out for you? She's a British agent. Why have you come here? You robbed the lab, Monsieur Godin. And voila, here I am to grant your heart's desires. You know who I am. <laughs> 
Of course. We know all about you. I've even read your awful books. My superiors in London are your biggest fans, Luke. They'd like to offer you their help. What kind of help? Oh, guns, medicine, radio equipment, whatever you require. In exchange for your cooperation in certain covert operations. Ah, please excuse my poor hospitality, Lady Sinclair. Come. Join us for a glass of wine. It seems we have much to discuss. We should go see what's bothering Veronique. She cannot be trusted. Who? Skylar? I won't argue with that. I never understood what you see in her. Look, Skylar and I... Well, it's complicated. Is this really what you wanted to talk about? No. Of course not. Our friend Bryman has been listening in on German wire traffic. He tells me the whole city is buzzing about some scientist who went missing after some train accident. You don't say? It's time you told me what you've gotten yourself into. It's safer if you don't know. Do you not trust me? I, and I need you to trust me. How goes the revolution? We've got something special coming up. Something. Big. Might as well tell me now. Your Frenchies never could keep a secret. Not yet. Soon. First, we gather our strength. I need to meet some friends of ours south of the river. We're going to need transit papers. And you want me to pay a visit to the Spaniard? <laughs> you have a business arrangement, no? Aye. But I can't say I trust the bastard. Go see Santos, my friend. Find me once you have the papers. We've got a few different cars. Look around. I've been busy, Irishman. I hear many things. You should be more careful. For a man in your line of work, a reputation can be dangerous. The same can be said of black marketeers who do business on both sides of the pitch. I am a capitalist. I don't give a pig's arse what you call yourself. I need transit papers to operate south of the river. I see. And what business brings you to that part of our lovely city? No business of yours. You know how it works, Irishman. You do a favor for me, I do a favor for you. Name your price then. Mm. 
I'm afraid the price is not negotiable. Come back when you have contraband to cover my expenses. Hello, Padre. I wouldn't expect to find a man of the cloth in a place like this. Former man of the cloth. I am Father Dennis. Or at least I was. I was defrocked for using my pulpit to speak out against the crimes of the Nazis. The church cowers in silence. But I could not turn a blind eye to the evil I have witnessed. Cheers to you, Padre. Your reward waits in heaven, whether you show up wearing that collar or not. Is there anything I can do to help? Perhaps. I am no longer an ordained priest. But many people still come to see me, that I might hear their confessions. One such man is a paid informant for the Gestapo. His accusations have condemned hundreds of innocents to torture and death at the hands of the Nazis. And this miserable bastard still has the nerve to go to confession? He comes to me every week to ask forgiveness for his sins. I'm afraid I have none left to give. Where can I find this bastard? Later, I will be holding a service outside my former church. There is a ledge on the roof from which you will have an excellent view of the congregation. When this man approaches me to receive my blessing, I will give you a signal. What would you like me to do then, Father? <laughs> Isn't it obvious, my son? In the name of all that is holy, blow his fucking head off. See how proud you are. With my fucking boot up your arse! You are alive. 
may he grant forgiveness. And to all who have died, a place of light and peace. You are alive, may he grant forgiveness. And to all who have died, a place of light and peace. And let the sinners among us repent, or face the terrible sword of vengeance. Hope he's reading you, you last rights, fucker. Just in peace, fuckface. A man by the name of Horst is organizing an underground street race in the city. I thought you might be interested. Skylar. Waffe fallen lassen! Ich bin nicht da! Ich bin getroffen!
You saved many lives by killing that informant, Sean. The people of my flock are grateful for your help. A man who would sell his neighbors to the Gestapo deserves a hole in his head. A year ago, I might have disagreed with you. But these old eyes of mine have seen too much. What's next, father? I spoke with the Gestapo officer who recruited the man you killed. What? Why? I told him I had information about certain... Uh, undesirables hiding in my neighborhood. A list of names and hiding places. I offered to bring it to his office. But you plan to deliver another sort of present instead. Don't you, father? Indeed, I do. I hear you used to drive cars for a living. Aye. And fix them, too. I need a wheelman. Someone who knows these streets and isn't afraid to face the Nazis on their own terms. Then you've come to the right place, father. I'm in. We are going to need a car. The faster, the better. Come on, then. I'll get us some wheels. There's people fighting for you out there. You're worried they won't let you in the place. These Gestapo officers think I'm a joke. An old wino priest, peddling secrets for liquor money. They probably won't even bother searching my bag. Either way, I would see them in hell. You're a tough old bastard, father. I'll give you that. Thank you, my son. to deliver the list of fugitives your commander requested. <laughs> I think you had better say a few Hail Marys, priest. Go on in. Wait for me here. This won't take long. Good luck, father. Sean, drive like the devil. Hang on, father.
that a great pain weighs on your heart, Sean. I want you to know I am here for you. Would you like me to hear your confession? No, thank you, Father. My pain isn't a burden that needs to be lifted. It's the fire that keeps me warm. Got your new papers right here. Be careful down there, Irishman. You are headed for the most dangerous part of our beautiful city. Makes me laugh. I got the transit papers. Now why don't you tell me what this is about? We are going to meet a man called Duval Mingo. He is no patriot, but he hates the Nazis, and he commands the loyalty of the rebels south of the River Seine. What's so important that you'd risk bringing together every rebel leader in the city? I won't discuss it here. For now, I can only say that you play a key role in our plans, Sean. I don't like being kept in the dark, Luke. Then come with me. We will go meet this man Mingo, then we will discuss what comes next. Where are we headed? The Latin Quarter. We will rendezvous with Mingo at the Jardin du Plan. It seems I am not the only one getting into bed with the British Empire. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the lovely Lady Sinclair is one dirty minx, eh? Veronique tells me the two of you are old friends. Veronique has a weakness for idle gossip. 
I am told English women are old on the outside, but warm on the inside, no? I thought you were meant to be a classy bloke. Why don't we take Skylar and Veronique up to La Havre this weekend for a little uh, wine tasting? Isn't there still a war on? All the more reason for some joie de vivre while we still can, huh? I won't argue with that. You're fucking kidding me! Make it a foursome in La Havre. I'm sure Veronique would be delighted to have you and Skyler join us. Don't count on it. Oh, something I should know. Looks like we're almost there. Thank God. This is the place. Keep your eyes open. Something does not feel right. These streets can be dangerous after dark. Are you the one called Mingo? Who is asking? Luke Godin. Ah, the big man himself. <laughs> Come down to the penthouse to do a little slumming. Hmm? This isn't a social call. I have business to discuss. Business requires trust. Trust must be earned. Ah, that sword cuts both ways. It is dangerous to meet in the open like this. You risk too much. What's that? Germans! It's a fucking ambush! Take cover! Luke! Over here! Get back in the fucking car! Get us out of here! Hang on! How did the crowds know we'd be here? There must be a leak somewhere. Don't look at me! This meeting was your idea. Show your traps, both of you! We're not out of this mess yet! There's a pit stop when you need one. Devlin. Well, Mr. Devlin, you're a resourceful man. Stick around after the meeting. I may have some work for you. Ah, there's Sean. Let's get started. By now, most of you have seen these posted around the city. Our German overseers have devised a grand spectacle to convince us of their Aryan superiority. A race to be held here in Paris and broadcast to every corner of occupied Europe. Several high-ranking Nazi officials will be in attendance, including General Eckhart. My comrades, this is the moment we have waited for. We will seize this opportunity to strike a blow that will shake the very foundations as the Third Reich. The crowd brass will be heavily guarded. You'll never get close to him. You're right, Sean. We can't get close, but you can. What the fuck are you talking about? After the race, there will be an award ceremony at the base of the Eiffel Tower. During the ceremony, General Eckhart will present the winning driver with an iron cross. That is when we will strike. 
How are you gonna get past the security? I won't have to, Sean. You are going to win the race. I don't even have a proper car. How am I supposed to win a race? Speak to Vittore. He has some good news to share with you. And Sean, you may be interested to know that the Germans are placing bets on the winning driver. At last count, the odds were five to one in favor of Kurt Dierker. House wasn't creepy enough for you. Maybe a new car, yes. Luke said you got something to tell me. When last we spoke, you showed little interest in what I had to say. I've not come to argue, Vittori. I'm here about the race. I've been working as a mechanic at the German motor pool. These Germans have loose lips. I've heard talk about a new addition to General Eckhart's private car collection. And? He has the Aurora. The Aurora? Where? Eckhart has a country chateau north of the city. The Aurora is there. And you want me to go after her? I spent half my life designing that engine. She'll blow the paint off any car in Europe. You're going to need her if you intend to win this race. She's one of a kind. Somebody's sure to recognize her. Not after we finish dressing her up. Find the Aurora. Bring her back here. Hmm. Those bastards should know better. Never steal an Irishman's girl. Enjoy it while you can, Eckhart. She's coming home with me tonight.
Must be the place. Francisca, what the fuck is she doing here? I don't suppose these fuckers are likely to answer a knock at the door. I'll have to blast me way in. Was ist mit dem Kessler, Mädel? Die Gestoppo hat sie. Herr Worgent, wenn wir nach Paris zurückkommen, erwarte ich, dass Sie sich persönlich um Ihre Befragung kümmern. Hey, darling. Let's get the fuck out of here.
with me! It. Oh, seeing her again is like finding a lost child. She's still hell on wheels. The crowds were reluctant to part with her. I only wish Jules could be here to see this. Get my toolbox. We have work to do. You got it, boss. I think I'm in love. Rolf Becker. Your new identity. You'll be posing as an amateur German driver. My friends in London made all the arrangements. What now? Now, I suggest you start practicing. You'll only get one shot at this, and there's no trophy for second place. I'll bring it back, I promise. I am well connected. What's the word? News on Maria Kessler's whereabouts. She's being held in the Hotel de Ville. Then I'll go in and take her out. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I see two options. There is a heavy gauge telephone line that runs across the street. Sounds like the quiet way in. What's plan B? Kick down the door and kill everything that moves. Subtle. I don't suppose you know where the holding cells are. I'm told they can only be reached from a concealed passage from the library. Any other surprises I should know about? I overheard talk of a German special forces unit. Some kind of terror squad. They made a bloody reputation on the Eastern Front. Now, they're here. Taking orders from Dirka. You might want to take extra precautions. I'll come loaded for bear. There's the telephone wire.
out below! That was easy. Now the library. Gehorke und mach weiter. Wenn du nicht vorsichtig bist, ist es dein Gehirn, das Hermann Morgan von der Wand. Well, here's the library. Now, where's that passageway? Ha! Got you, you bastard! The doctor said that Brennan would be off her and up there. Surprise, asshole! Master is. Eindringling im Keller. Sicher die Gefangene. Where did those freaks come from? Who is that? Devlin? Is that you? Who wants to know? A brother in arms, mon ami. Please let me out. There is a lever in the office. Merci, Sean. You want to loot, fellas? We. Oui. We gotta get out of here. Come on. The door is locked! Hmm, looks too heavy to blow with a charge. Maybe I can rig something up with that boiler. Please, hurry! Merde! They are coming! Hurry, son! They'll be here soon! You aren't worth a fucking airbag. 
best guess. Maybe we can find another way. Maybe we can find another way. Hurry, Sean, they'll be here soon. Hurry, Sean, they'll be here soon. Merde, they are coming. Hurry, Sean, they'll be here soon. I wish I had time to rescue a few bottles of scotch. Reminds me of the last time I tried to cook breakfast. Madness! It's 
gonna be all right, darling. I'm gonna get you out of here. Ready. Then we're on our way. Come on, Maria. This is no place to linger. Maria! Gott in the Himmel! I do not know how to thank you, Herr Devlin. I will never forget what you have done today. Seems His Majesty's government is in your debt as well. But don't expect a thank you note from Bishop. Bishop can go and shite. I don't work for... German machine guns! Nazi soldiers! We're surrounded! They must have followed you here! What? That's impossible. No one can. Damn you, Devil! You've killed us all! No! Skyler! What the fuck has gotten into you? I can't allow them to take Kessler alive. There's too much at stake. I'm sorry, Sean. This isn't over yet. Get out of my way, Sean. Like hell I will. Oh, bloody hell! Don't make me regret this. Calm yourselves! We'll hold them off as long as we can!
Here they come again! Over there! They are attacking from the flank! Sounds like a fucking tank. What are they doing? Regrouping. They'll be back soon with reinforcements. They burn this place to the ground. We won't get another chance to break out. Take the Kesslers and go. What about you? I'll buy you as much time as I can. Veronique. I'm staying with Luke. No. I've watched my friends die to protect that man. Don't let them die for nothing. Let's move. Go! We'll rendezvous at the catacombs. And sacrifice their lives to protect us. I only hope that one day I will be able to repay them somehow. You will, Doctor. Just as soon as we get you to our laboratory in London. Blood cannot wash away blood. For your sake, I hope it can. Too much blood has already been spilled on your behalf. Papa, where are we going? Hush, my nation. We will be safe soon.
Luke, where is Veronique? Where is she? It was chaos. We were separated. She... she was captured. Oh, you miserable bastard! She stayed for you! Sean! Give me ten men. I'll bring her back. I cannot do that. What? Why not? The operation will proceed as planned. Once the attack begins, we will need every man who can carry a gun. I can't believe I'm hearing this. We're talking about Veronique. Our cause is more important than any one person. Even Veronique. Not to me it isn't. You cannot leave, Sean. We need you to drive the Aurora. Find yourself another driver. I'm out. Deflin, you look exhausted, my friend. I think you need to get some rest. Veronique is out there. Somewhere in this city. I'll find her. I won't rest until she's free of those devils. Yeah, I believe you, Irishman. I may be able to help. I'm listening. We will tap into the Gestapo's private telephone service. If it is done correctly, they will never suspect. And then? Then we wait and listen. Veronique's arrest is certain to draw attention. What do I need to do? At this moment, a storm is brewing in the skies over Paris. When it breaks, you will place wiretaps in a series of telephone junction boxes. The interference caused by the storm will mask the signs of our tampering. It will be dangerous rooftop work. Just give me the taps. I'll handle the rest. You must finish placing the taps before the storm ends. Oi. Then I won't dally. Watch your step up there, Devlin. I will be listening. If I hear anything, I'll send you a message. Bollocks. It'll be a fucking miracle if I don't get zapped up here. Better keep in line. These lads are on the watch. Here's the foul. Du, Waffe fallen lassen! Da! Also hab ich ihr Ketzer. Sei da vorne. Was helfen? Ich 
Piss off now. It's almost past. Better pick up the pace.
Why does it always have to be the fucking sewer? War is a dirty business. Devlin, are you certain we weren't followed? I won't make that mistake again. The raid on La Villette wasn't your fault, Sean. Someone tipped the Germans that Kessler was at the slaughterhouse. Someone with inside knowledge of the resistance. A bloody turncoat. I should have seen this coming. There is more. I found Veronique. Veronique? Where? The Nazis are using the Palace of Justice as a detention center for the political prisoners. They spit it out, Josef. She has been sentenced to death. Jesus. How long do we have? We must leave now. There is no way to go through the prison defenses, but we may be able to go over them. I don't like where this is going. There is a Zeppelin fueling station just outside the sewers. If you can get inside, I may be able to arrange transportation. On a fucking Zeppelin? I, I, what have you been smoking, Josef? It's our only chance. There is a radio tower at the top of the fueling station. Contact me when you get there. Jesus. Smells like I'm climbing up a Frenchman's arse. There's the fueling station. Grinding said the radio tower was up top. Go again. Joseph, can you hear me? I'm in position. Good work. I sent out false orders on the German command channel. A Zeppelin has been diverted to your position. What's the plan? You need to stow away aboard the airship. It will take you directly over the prison. This mad scheme of yours is gonna get me killed. You realize that? In all likelihood, yeah. But that can't be helped. Uh, call me back when you can.
That's one hell of a view. This city has seen better days. But the old girl hasn't lost her charm. Prisoner number 72169, Henri Durante, found guilty of spying. The penalty is death. Prisoner number 48310, Maria Ramirez. Found guilty of unlawful political speech. The penalty is death. Prisoner number 60651. Mark Piquet. Found guilty of harboring fugitives from state justice. me later. Get up in front. I'll take the back. Freiman, let's move. Track from the air. Step on it, Broyman. What do you think I'm doing? I'm on it. Now, 
Drive through. Jesus, I think we just used up the last of our lot. Steady. Faster! Get us out of here! I'm going as fast as I can! Why aren't we moving? I don't know. The engine has stalled! I, I can't get it started! For fuck's sake, Brian, you picked one hell of a parking spot. Move over. I'll do it. Hey! Hey! How do you do? How do you do? The little trick she took me. That's just crap. Now let's get the fuck out of here. We should stop here and split up. I'll get Veronique back to the catacombs. Ditch the truck and meet up later. Thank you, Yosef. You saved all our lives. You showed a lot of brass back there, mate. I guess you are even now, yeah? Go. I will find you later. Veronique, are you alright? I thought I was going to die. I was certain of it. Being afraid is nothing to be ashamed of. I was not afraid. I am ready to give my life for what I believe. I know that now. We both learned something about ourselves today. We can't stay here. Let's get moving. Treat her like me very own. Dr. Kessler and his daughter, did they escape? They're safe. And Luke? He's been looking all over the city for you. You don't need to lie, Sean. I know Luke did not send you to find me. He's in a tough spot just now. Luke's first loyalty is to the cause. I can understand that. The only loyalty I know is the sort a man owes his mates. Gilles was lucky to have you. Veronique! But how? If you are here to bask in my gratitude, you I've come to warn you. Somebody's been talking to the crowds, Luke. You need to call off this crazy plan before it's too late. It's already too late. There won't be another chance like this one. We must see it through, no matter what the cost. You're gambling with other people's lives. We have been gambling from the beginning. Are you coming? Now, the Aurora's frame has been loaded with 80 kilograms of high explosive. 
the blast will be heard across the city. That will be the signal for attack to begin. We will strike simultaneously at these locations. What is our plan for getting the driver out? There isn't one. Once the race begins, he will be on his own. But I don't see the Irishman here. Who will try the Aurora? That honor will be mine. Sean? He once told me never to throw my life away. We were talking about revenge. This is something different. I can see your point. But you're forgetting one thing. I'm the one that started this race, and I'll be damned if I'm not the man to finish it. Take Vittori and the Kesslers to the bell. The Russos will know what to do. You better make sure they get me name right. John, is that you? What the hell are you doing? Taking care of some unfinished business.
Jirka has a solid lead on the pack. Meanwhile, rookie driver Rolf Necker is coming on hard, cutting his way towards the front of the pack.
Shots better. Hold on, Vittori. Almost there. Vittori! Sean! That... <coughs> they're alive! They... They took the Kistlers. <coughs> it's all right, Vittori. Santos... Uh, he was helping them. Must... Warn the others. I will. Just as soon as we get you out of here. Uh, Sean... My... Son... Crowds will hit the catacombs next. I need to warn the resistance.
Scheuch! Gott Feuer! Tivlin! What are you doing here? Where's Veronique? She's down below with Luke and the others. Then I'll head down. Wait! The Nazis are everywhere. We can't risk revealing this entrance. Is there another tunnel? Yes, across the street, just past the lion statue. You should be able to flank the Germans. Must be where the crowds are getting in. I'm gonna need an explosion to bring down that ceiling. Jesus, hell of a lot of bones. What's a few more bones for the crib, eh?
wouldn't take much to bring down that ceiling. Sie haben die Resistance gefunden! Bereitet euch auf den Angriff vor! Let's see how proud you are! With my fucking boat up your ass! Jesus, looks like a shortcut to hell. Out of ammunition! Then hold your maw to make every shot count! Sorry I'm late. Sean! But we saw the explosion. It was... Certain death. Not bloody lucky. Damn you, Devlin. How do you expect us to martyr you if you weren't dead dead? Sister Mary always said I'd make a better sinner than saint. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I came to warn you. The crowds know you're here. Luke! Tell your men to throw down their arms! You can still save their lives! Santos. He sold you out to the crowds. Led them to the bell. Veronique, your parents are... Not now. We know. Be reasonable, Luke! They only want you and the girl! The others are free to go! You're done making deals, you Judas bastard! Dios mío! You must have made your own deal with the devil, Irishman! Why else would he have kept you alive so long? You can ask him yourself when you meet him! Very well, Irishman! I'll see you in hell! Concentrate your fire on the main force! use. You'll never free him in time. Go. Take the others and seal the passage behind you. Oh, wow, Luke. We will never forget you. 
Now what you have done for this country. Are you out of your fucking mind? You know what will happen if they take me alive. You have seen Theokra's methods firsthand. In the end, I will tell them everything. You must not let that happen. I can't do this. Compassion is a luxury we can no longer afford. The enemy we face has none. Even a cat only gets nine lives. You must be well over your limit. Aye. It's lucky you're here, then. We don't give a toss about you. Where's Kessler? On his way back to Germany, I'll wager. Oh, bloody hell. The whole operation's just gone tits up. <laughs> Bishop's liable to have a coronary. We should have topped a bastard when we had the chance. That's a habit with you, isn't it? Talking bollocks. You and I are about two seconds from doing the business, Devlin. Sorry, mate. I'm strictly butter side up. That's enough. I'll be in touch when we know where the Kesslers are headed. Be ready to move on short notice. The catacombs are lost. We can't ever return there. Can't say I'll miss the place. Where are you going? A lot has happened. I need some time alone. I'll find you. Easy, Jackboot. A message for you. Right. Thanks. My son, we can no longer sit idly by while the devil walks the streets of our city. Let us speak of the Lord's justice. Father Dennis. Man. I watched your race in Saarbrücken last year. You're very good. You almost beat Kurt Dierker. I did beat that bastard. And I could do it again. 
<laughs> I like your spirit, Irishman. Of course, this isn't some swanky Grand Prix racetrack. This is a country race. A dirt race for dirty drivers. Sounds like just my cup of tea. I'm glad to hear it. We race for contraband here. Pull your car up to the start line. We are ready to get started.
wish they'd do something about all the puddles. Keep soaking me boots. We have not a second to waste. They have taken my cherished one and many others. Hold on, don't get your panties in a bunch. When was the last time you saw this Renoir fella? He has been dead for 30 years. It's not much of a bloody emergency then, is it? Must you always try my patience? The Germans are smuggling masterworks out of museums all over the country. Ah, the culture war. Is that it? The ringleader is a Reichsminister official named Backman. I want him in a box. A box? A closed casket. I don't want his own wife to recognize him. Shouldn't you be in the kitchen baking up some crumpets or something? It's just that sweet old ladies shouldn't get mixed up in this sort of thing. It doesn't seem proper. Oh, spare me your chauvinistic bullshit. Herr Bachmann will be traveling past the Grand Palais in a bulletproof limousine. You will need heavy firepower to penetrate the car's armor. But that shouldn't stop a resourceful man like yourself. Right. Yes, Mom. We've got a few different cars. Look around. Halt! Sperrgebiet! Gehen Sie wo anders lang! Too bad I never managed to stay awake in German class. All right, here comes the punter now. Le puissant Reich a remporté une bataille décisive en Afrique du Nord. La guerre devrait donc prendre fin rapidement. Bring it in, get it on! 
Your reputation is well deserved, Monsieur Devlin. You have given these barbarians reason to fear. It must be difficult to plunder a nation's treasures when one is constantly looking over one's own shoulder. One might think it would be difficult to conquer Europe with one's head up one's arse. Still, that maniac in Berlin managed to pull it off. The Nazis have conquered our country, but not the hearts and minds of our people. When the music of freedom rings throughout the city, the dream of liberty will live again. Uh... Are you off your meds again, Granny? The Nazis have been using the Louvre as a stage from which to broadcast their vile propaganda throughout the city. You want me to knock out that tower? We have had enough of that fascist drivel. Polluting our airways. It's time we called a different tune, don't you think? Your point is well made, madam. It's time somebody turned the dial. Looks like somebody left a tank unattended.
Skedell bleeding all over! Exist. Appreciate it, mate. I took the liberty of booking your seat on the next flight to Saarbrücken. Pack light, and don't be late. I'll be waiting for you at the airstrip. Skylar.
Where's Kessler? Back at work. Doppelseek, then. Back to the fucking beginning. Now what? You need to put a leash on this one. I am going with you. You're in over your head, darling. I'd not argue with the lass if I were you. It's your funeral. I'll put you down as close as possible to Doppelseek without getting my arse shot off. Once you've got the Kesslers, return to the airstrip for extraction. We'll be there. Getting into double seek? You're looking at it. I'm bloody glad she's on our side. Sean, what's wrong? Where is your father? There's a laboratory! On the other side of a compound, hidden inside the motorworks! Take the girl and go. I'll find Kessler and meet you at the airstrip. But what about- I said go!
Dr. Kessler, I've come to get you out of here. Open this door. Somehow I knew I'd be seeing you again. I got you into this mess, Doctor. I've come to see you out. Maria? On our way to the airstrip. We'll meet her there. Then there is just one thing left to do. We cannot leave without destroying the cyclotron. Come with me. Hurry! Cover me while I override the mechanism. one of its kind in existence. It must be destroyed. They will never wield the power they seek. I will burn this laboratory to the ground. Right then. Let's blow this shithole straight to hell. Go to the other control panel. All set. Out! 
the door! Open the fucking door! Send their love. They're in your debt. I'll know who to call if I ever need to make bail. I'm afraid I have some bad news as well. My sources confirm that Kurt Dierker survived the explosion at the Grand Prix. Son of a bitch! That cockroach must have made a deal with the devil. They won't save him this time. What's the situation on the ground? That stunt you pulled at the race started a wildfire. Now the Nazis have their hands full trying to contain a citywide uprising. Dierker set up a temporary command post to the Eiffel Tower. Rumor has it the bastard's lost his mind. Get me down there. This isn't over yet. How do you feel, Mr. Devlin? Oh, I could eat a nun's arse through a convent gate. I see. But I'll settle for that case of scotch. I was wrong about you, Devlin. We'll make a hero out of you yet. Tax, but I made other plans. We'll be in touch. Where are you going? You know where I'm going. You will need help. No, Veronique. I'll do this alone. Jules was my brother. And my parents. Dierke will be leaving the city soon. We best get moving. John, there's something I've been meaning to say. It's about June. You don't need to say it. I can see your brother's face every time I close my eyes. I can still see his blood on my hands. And I know I won't ever forget what happened. Stop it, John. You cannot go on living like this. Jules was a good man, but he was only one life. One murder among millions. This is not about my brother anymore. This is about something bigger than you or me. Can you not see that? Yeah. I'm starting to. It's a war zone. An uprising. This was Luke's plan all along. To help the people of this city find the courage to fight back. Now the Resistance can't trade punches with the Nazis. They'll be slaughtered fighting like this. They no longer have a leader. Bullshit. They got one. I'm looking at her. But... I don't know if I... Yes, you can. Your people need you now, Veronique. But what about Dierke? Need Dierke to me. Sean! I thought we'd have more time. I wanted to tell you that... Tell me later. Killing everyone!
Looks like I missed the party. upstairs. Keep trying, mate. You'll get it right eventually. Your failure is my failure. My disgrace is yours. The punishment is death. This just isn't your day. the only one who ever escaped. It is fitting that you should be the one. I won't argue with that. One day, history will thank us for what we have done. Holding back the mongrel hordes while you people cowered in our shadow. You could never understand the burden of my duty. Killing you could never make up for what I've lost. My friends will still be dead. And I'll still have to live with the things i done. <laughs> Is that why you're here? Did you think that by killing me, you could wash the blood from your own hands? <laughs> That's tragic. <laughs> we are going to hell, aren't we, Irishman? Maybe. But you'll get there before me. What do you... Is it over? No. It's not over. I'm just getting started. Felt a bit naked there.
गोरी है 